You are listening to the Boss Experience Podcast, a podcast with conversations about business growth, self-development, and maintaining a mindset to achieve business success. My name is Michelle Davis, and I am a business strategist and coach, and I am your host. Let's get started. Previously on The Boss Experience. Thank you for joining me for another episode of The Boss Experience, and I'm so happy you're here. In this episode, I want to talk about coaching, you know, how to find a coach and how to get the best out of a coaching experience. Are you trying to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income? If so, tell me if this sounds familiar. You took a coaching certification class, but still don't know how to develop a coaching business or get clients. You bought a course only to never implement what you learn, or worse, you still don't know where to start. Or maybe you're struggling to piece together a bunch of free information you find online, hoping and praying for results, only to still be confused. The key to earning revenue in your online coaching business is having a process to get the right people contacting you about enrolling in your programs and services. You also need a coaching offer that gets results for your clients in addition to you being able to charge a premium price for your services. So if you need help putting these pieces together, my name is Michelle Davis, and I am the host of the Boss Experience Podcast, in addition to being a phenomenal business coach. And I created a free short video explaining where to begin when it comes to starting an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. Just go to ceoblueprintacademy.com to get instant access now. That's ceoblueprintacademy.com. Okay, back to the show. When we think about coaching, immediately people are like, oh, I don't need a coach. I can, I can do this myself. And this is a problem that I see a lot of entrepreneurs make is they want to go it alone because they don't want to make the investment or they don't view hiring a coach as investing in their knowledge and investing in their growth. And I think that's a huge mistake. And I'm not saying that just because just because I'm a business coach, I am saying it is a huge mistake because when you don't hire a coach or you're not investing in your growth as an entrepreneur, you're you're capping your knowledge. And so essentially you're only relying on your own skills and knowledge instead of the skills and knowledge of someone who's already done what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. So over the years, I've hired coaches to help me, you know, launch a product or or a service. I've hired coaches to help me learn how to have a sales conversation. I've hired coaches to help me become a better marketer. I've hired coaches to help me with social media content. I've hired coaches for a lot of different reasons and at different stages in my business, because when you think about you know, coming into entrepreneurship with the goal of doing better in your business, you know, of really excelling and getting to the point where your business is earning you money, right? You know, interestingly enough, there was a quote um, I heard the other week and I reposted it on my social media, and that is mastery is not a destination. Mastery is an ongoing process. People think just because they know something that they know everything there is to know about something. And so they don't invest in actually that ongoing education. And think about it, when you are in your nine to five, you were always going to training so that you could be better at your job, right? So why not make that same commitment to your business? So here's the thing with coaches. Coaches are accountability partners. They help you close the knowledge gap and they get you to your destination and where you want to be faster. That's why it's an investment. Are coaches cheap? No, they're not necessarily cheap, but they are necessary in your business. You just have to kind of decide what it is you need to know and where your deficits are so that you can get the coach that can best meet your needs. I know it's tempting for you to think that you can get everything 
you need to know on YouTube and on social media. But here's the thing, you know, you have to at some point really forge a plan in your business that's going to get you to whatever level you're trying to to get to. So let's assume you're ready to hire your coach, right? You've you're convinced that you need to grow in your business, you're ready to invest in yourself and in your business. So let's talk about some things you need to do before you get to to the point of actually approaching someone. What tends to happen sometimes is people see different coaches online and, and there's a coach for every aspect of your life online. And so you can focus so much on what you think that person can deliver to you But the first step you need to take is looking at what you need as the, you know, the person that's attempting to hire the coach, the client. So that leads me to my first kind of pre-hire question you need to ask yourself, what exactly do I need help with? I get a lot of direct messages that are from business owners and they're like, you know, can I hire you as a coach? And then, and then I say, okay, well, before we get to that process, let's talk about what your needs are as a business owner. And you'd be surprised that they don't know. They just want to know, oh, I want to make more sales. Or I want to, I just want to make more money. Well, what exactly does that mean? You just want to make, we all want to make more money. And you need to be very specific about what your needs are as a client so that you find the best coach for you to solve your problem and to help you achieve the transformation that you're seeking. What are your goals as a business owner? What is it that you want to accomplish? Do you want to maybe learn paid advertising so that you can make more money in your business or you know get more leads into your business? Do you want to learn social media and you know invest in content creation? So every coach is not a one size fits all. So it's it's very important that you know specifically what you want to focus on in your business so that you find the right coach that can meet your needs and and solve your problem. The next thing you need to think about and ask yourself is what is your budget? So there is a coach out there to solve your problem for sure, but what is your budget? You have to think, you know, yes, you're going to spend money on any coach that is any good, right? So you have to know how much can you afford and and, and what are you striving for? If you don't have the money at this time, make coaching something that you work toward. Develop a, a savings plan, you know, put it on your vision board that you want this specific kind of coaching. You know, you have to have a budget for coaching. And coaches aren't free. So you have to think about, you know, what is your budget? The next thing you want to think about is how much access do you want to your coach? Well, not every coach gives access to them. And so it's important as you're looking at the different people online that you're putting first what it is that you want and how do you best learn and what's the most effective way for you to get the most out of your coaching service before you focus on a particular coach. Because you, you know, if you want a coach that you have, you know, a lot of access to, you may be disappointed in your coaching experience if you hire someone who doesn't provide that. So, you know, think through what it is you want from your coach. Do you want someone that's going to hop on a call with you? Do you want to have, you know, weekly Zoom sessions that are individualized? Do you want to have group sessions where the sessions are live and you can ask questions? So think about what you want your experience to be so that you're, you have clarity in regards to that. So the other thing you need to think about is, do you share common values with the coach? Is that important to you? And if it is, then you want to find a coach that aligns with your value, with your values, because you want to be happy with the person that you're working with. You know, you don't want to forge over, you know, money and thinking you're going to, you know, you have this great investment and you're investing in the person and you're, you end up being disappointed because, you know, maybe they have some values that go against yours or some, you know, a certain belief that goes against your, your belief system, whatever the case. If it's not important, then you can cross it off your list. But if it is, and you want to make sure you're hiring someone that's actually someone you feel comfortable with, think about what are deal breakers for you when it comes to values. So now that you know those preliminary questions you need to ask yourself before you reach out to a coach, let's talk about how to actually 
find a coach. So you can find an abundance of coaches on everything from Pinterest to Instagram to Facebook. So once you know what it is you want, you're clear on how, what you want, you know what type of program you're looking for, you have a clear vision of what kind of coach is going to be able to offer that for you because you know what problem you're trying to solve, you know specifically what you need help with, you know how much access you want to your coach, you uh, know how you best learn, you know what values are important to you. All of those things make your search for your coach a lot easier. So take some time and, and, you know, just kind of search in social media, search on Pinterest. You can do a Google search and you will be able to find an abundance of coaches. And when finding a coach, don't just focus on how many followers they have. Focus instead on, can this coach solve my problem? I'll share with you a story. I recently hired a coach and this person you know, came recommended. They had a ton of reviews and I worked with the person and literally saw no results after working with them for a couple of months. This was a big disappointment because I was very clear on what my goals were and what I wanted to achieve. And I think that while you're not expecting a huge transformation, you know, let's say over the course of two months, I am expecting to move the pendulum forward. I'm not expecting to be in the same position I was before I hired you. That's why it's so important to kind of hone in on the person before you look at all the other, you know, extra factors, because this person clearly was not equipped to solve my problem. And it became evident the longer I worked with her. And this wasn't business related. This was regarding another issue that I wanted assistance with in my life. And yeah, she just couldn't get it together to help me achieve a transformation. So you just want to just take the time to get to know who you're, who you're going to be working with. Is this person going to solve, solve your problem? Okay. So now that you know what questions to ask yourself before you hire a coach, and you know where to find your coach, now it's time to hire. Coaching services aren't something you can just kind of click to buy or add to cart. Typically, usually a coach will allow you to book a session, the type of session that you want with them, and then they'll reach out to you and talk further. So you want to be prepared, you know, for an application call or an enrollment call or some sort of enrollment process. To get the most out of that enrollment process or that application call, you want to make sure that you have a list of questions because at this point you've developed, you know, a sense of what you want as a client. You know how much access you want to your coach. You know how you learn best and you're clear on what it is that, you know, you want help with. And so you want to make sure that you're focusing on, you know, can this coach solve my problem? Make sure you create a list of questions and ask them, you know, what, you know, what, what kind of programs do you have? Coaching is a process. So there has to be like s- several steps to get you from where you want to be, you know, where you are now to where you want to be. So you want to know what that process is. You want to know what that process entails in terms of, is it group coaching? Is it one-on-one coaching? Because you already know how you learn best. And don't be afraid to walk away from a coach where you just don't feel like they're going to meet your needs or like they can solve your problem. Because there's one thing there is, there's tons and tons of coaches out there where one doesn't really make you feel like they really will give you what you need. There'll be other coaches out there that will. So that concludes this episode of The Boss Experience. I hope this information helped you hire your next coach. See you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to The Boss Experience Podcast. Don't forget to leave a review for this episode and tune in next time.